let f be the function f of x equals x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 6. What are all of the values of c that satisfy the mean value theorem of differential calculus on the closed interval negative 6, 0? So first, let us write the function given, which is f of x equals to x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 6x and the interval which is given negative 6 and 0 negative 6 will be a and 0 will be b and the equation for the mean value theorem is f of prime of c equals to f of b minus f of a over b minus a what do we mean by f prime of c is the derivative of the function so let's start with it the derivative of x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 6x is 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals to f of b minus f of a over b minus a what do we how to get f of b is to substitute 0 with the main function so f of 0 equals in brackets 0 to the power of 3 plus 6 in bracket 0 squared plus 6 in bracket 0 which will give us an answer of 0 then we do the same thing to get f of a by substituting it by negative 6 so f of negative 6 equals to in bracket negative 6 to the power of 3 plus 6 in bracket negative 6 squared plus 6 in brackets negative 6 which will give us negative 36 so 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals to f of b which is 0 minus minus 36 over b minus a which is 0 minus minus 6 which will give us an answer of positive 36 so negative negative will turn to positive and also positive 6 so 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals to 36 over 6 which is also equals to 6 so now 3x squared plus 12x plus 6 equals to 6 we need to to turn this function to equals to 0 so we change the the place of the positive 6 to the other side so it will be negative 6 so 3x squared plus 12x would equal to 0 now we need to solve for x we can do it by factorizing we have a common factor of 3x so 3x and out of the bracket then in bracket x plus 4 because 3x multiplied by x will give us 3x squared and 3x multiplied by 4 will give us 12x so now we solve for each one so 3x equals to 0 then we have x plus 4 equals to 0 we can change the place of the positive 4 to the other side so it will be x equals to 4 and to negative 4 now we have the interval show so c should be greater than negative 6 but less than 0 and the only number between those is negative 4 so 0 is impossible that's why the answer will be only 
negative one, which is option B.